On the table we have the Among Us, the scaled brick built sets found on Amazon and I would say things today are going to get highly sus. <laughs> Yeah, you could probably say Squest 2 because it's Squirrel Stampede. This is Dan. Thanks for joining in. We've got five interesting builds from Among Us today found on Amazon. A little bit sus with these builds, but always very interesting. Several different rooms to explore and construct. Let's get right to these and see what we can discover. Squirrel Stampede! Please squirt, squirt. And a squirrel eye. Okay, first Among Us build, it's the Lobby Transport Ship, our way onto the scaled map. Oh my goodness, why is this box so colossal? Hey, only Carnotaurus is colossal. Okay, why is this box so huge then? Uh, for only 661 pieces, this is enormous. It even has a handle on top. Who puts a handle on top of a box for only 661 pieces? That's that's just bizarre and looks like it really got roughed up in transport. But a good a good set to have, to have the lobby here. This is one of the first things you see playing Among Us. You all gather together, you kind of run around this room and kind of figure out what's going to happen. Uh, we've got a lot of crewmates, which makes this set awesome. And a lot of chairs, just a good, nice little backdrop. A perfect start of a build for today, right? Inside the divided up box, we've got several bags of pieces, large and small. Uh, definitely a little more roomy box than needed to be. Uh, I found the handle! I found the handle, suckers! Alright, what do we have in this box? The stickers have been kind of totaled. Ooh, that's a lot of squares. Got a bag of fresh character crewmates. Then, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags of pieces. Oh, this could be more character accessories. Instructions. Oh boy. Anything outside of Lego and instructions is always scary. And, uh, yeah. It says 600 pieces, but it's probably going to be twice that in logical building. Why are there so many pieces used just to build a simple crates? Oh my, what's the deal there? Hey, these crates contain space acorns, and they must be constructed with the utmost strongest capacity. You can always tell when it's not Lego and they make you take a million panels and place them all together as the base and then try and somehow connect them together at once. The deal with this wall, the Great Wall of Among Us apparently, it is taking forever to build. There's a lot of pieces in there. The walls are to ensure the space acorn crates are safely protected.
you like building chairs with the seat belts, this is the build for you. There's 10 chairs with the seat belts. constructed and are waiting inside the lobby transport on the way to the Skeld. What an interesting build. Uh, zoinks, man! I almost missed the bus! Uh, do we tell Shaggy this isn't the bus? What's that? Oh, nothing. So, here we are in the lobby as we would be starting the game. It's pretty much a basic build. We've got the floor constructed with the wall in the back. We've got five seats per side and some crates full of acorns, right? All the crewmates here are of the no arms crewmates versions. There's a couple versions going about. We have seen them both and gone through many before. This set is a great opportunity to pick up 10 crewmates plus somewhere to place them. That is, if you can conquer a slightly challenging build and mainly challenging because of the substandard pieces and wacky instructions. You'll notice in many places the overabundance of unnecessary pieces. You can kind of see them as we rotate around to the back. There are so many pieces working into this back wall and you really have to be careful watching the instructions because it's easy to get ahead of oneself. Also, there seems to be a variety of very iffy pieces. This beam here was a little bit warped, so I had to remove it and place some old Lego pieces I had. Those are wildly discolored. I need to find a better piece. But once it's all built, it performs its task rather well. It's going to deliver our crewmates to the Skeld. You can place everyone in chairs all along in a line, or you can just have them wandering about up top. If you need to, you can bend back these walls, have them straight on or at an angle or even a deeper angle. So a little bit of customization there for you. I think overall it turned out pretty well. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the other set builds now. Okay, let's hit the first room, uh, the cafeteria. Um, this box is highly sus. What is this? It's printed on some cheap material, uh, very low res. Um, Amazon, okay. Anyhow, so some more pieces, more more bags of tiny pieces to just destroy my fingers. Four bags and more instructions and stickers. This set says 265 pieces. Oh, oh look at this mess right there. Oh man, are my fingers gonna bleed after this maybe? Oh my, but I like the cafeteria, right? Oh my, who thought it would be so much fun for the finger to place down a thousand cafeteria tiles? Ow! So we've now made it inside this skilled map and some very interesting things are going about. The floor of the cafeteria was such a complicated construct. All these little flat tiles to interlock into each other and they're so tightly pressed in. You really have to stay focused where everything is. Oh, oh boy, I'm ready for some food. That was a long bus trip. Yeah, it seems like Shaggy would hit the cafeteria first. There are three minifigures included with this one. We've got the larger variety of crewmate with the arms and a plunger on his head. There's also a highly suspicious green and well, I think something just happened to the brown one. Oh dear. I like the colors of the cafeteria. It's a little more lively than the transport build. The blue walls, the pink down on the bottom, 
And I suppose if you wanted to, you can flatten this one out. You may actually want to get a couple cafeterias because the cafeteria is such a large build of the Skeld. It would be kind of fun to get two or three of these and interlock them together somehow. Just remember, the more you build, the more your fingers are really going to hurt. Uh, there's food being served here, right? Right? Oh, look, a bone. Finally, I'm famished. <laughs> We better get to admin immediately. Next up, administration. And you never know what you're going to get when you order these from Amazon. This one in another box with a handle and it's um, slightly um, space saved. And there's the four sets available. We've already built a couple admin tables from the previous small size sets. Now we get to implement one into a room. Inside the box is a fine set of instructions, floor tiles. A little bit of everything. I see a couple crewmates in this one and a few more odds and ends. Let's get admin built so we can find out what's going on in this ship. Oh my, these pillars are such a pain. Oh, so intricate pain. And we are now inside the admin room with the yellow, pink, and the black crewmate with the arms. Another nice slice of the scaled map. I think this room feels about right in size. It's not the largest room. The cafeteria really felt small. This feels about right. Another challenging build with all these little brown tiles on the bottom. They were rough getting in. I wish these crewmates would stand better. They love falling over. And that yellow one, I think may be an imposter. The hardest thing to build on this were these posts. The way they post in, there's very suspicious pieces. You have to place in these tiny little studs inside to get them to connect together. What a pain. I find it best to place the tiny stud on the table and then line up the larger piece over the top, but it still takes some time. Look, Jaina, the Hall of Justice is open for us to help. Finally, we can tell Batman and Superman what to do. Okay, Zane, what do you think we're going to tell them to do? <laughs> Oh no, Jaina! Oh, did Gleek get you again? Oh, that darn monkey! Scoob! Oh, there was a second cafeteria? No way! Uh, okay, so if you're looking for a really interesting room to kind of get the feel out for the full ship, the admin room is the place to go. Alright, here is, I, I think we're doing electrical next. Here's another very sus pack from Amazon. Who knows what they give you? In fact, the pieces are falling out as I uh, talk. Oops, that's never good. There's a lot of stuff packed into this one little box. Five packs and some stickers. The instructions are over here, I hope. They had fallen out, so now we can finally give some electricity to this ship.
Make sure to unplug your electrical room before you build on it because it just might do that. Okay, we are now in electrical and I think this is my favorite build so far of the day. There's always something interesting going on in electrical. Oh wow, I like your color blue crewmate. Look at this electrical. I'm here to test out and see if everything's in safe order. Oh! Yep, yep, everything's in safe order. Good old Jay. So yeah, there are two blue crewmates involved with this one missing another eyepiece. The sticker sheet was missing the eye on this one. Why do I have such trouble with the eye pieces? The purple crewmate, a little bit possibly an imposter with those teeth and has a mini purple crewmate on top. And then a cyan crewmate. I don't see the cyan ones very much. So it's good to have that one. Just a great build. I love all the wiring going on throughout this build. A little tricky getting this top red wire to hold in though. It keeps wanting to pop up. They are subpar building block material though, so you're gonna kind of find that. But it was fun attaching the wires throughout the transformer room there. And over to the back, nothing too exciting going on there. Oh, look at all these extra pieces. What is going on? They really kind of worked you over with extra pieces. But a good colorful looking build to the series. Well, if my fingers allow it, ooh. We have one more room to build, I believe this is communications in another very economically smashed box. Inside the box, another helpful slice of instructions. Bag one, another three, four bags with this one, I hope. Some were falling out, so I hope they're all there. Anyhow, let's communicate up this room. Finally, the communication room built. A little bit different than the others as you can kind of play with this from all different sides. We have the data processing wall in the back and three computer stations up around the front which you may want to view from the back. These monitors a little bit tricky to place together. More of those little tiny tiny stud inserts to place inside. What a challenge. But it looks really nice and I think it will incorporate well into your ship. It has some of my favorite color crewmates too, the yellow with the blue hat. I love this blue hat piece. The red's got some sort of tomato cherry bomb feel to it. And the orange with the white cone on top. Oh dear, why are these guys so fragile? <laughs> so if your fingers have not fallen off yet, and they will by this point, the communications room is a pretty cool room to be visiting. And there we go with the Among Us brick build sets I found over on Amazon. A little bit sketchy, a little bit painful on the fingers, a little bit challenging to build at times, but otherwise really interesting to check out and take a look at for you guys. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel live, and a squamit. Let us know what your favorite crewmate is. Thanks for watching. That's what I have to say about that.